Hi there, it's Shell and Clint. Hello everybody. <laughs> Clint is in the back. Oops, sorry. He's still doing chores. But he's getting there. Sorry guys, I uh, just noticed my iPad is just about dead. Plug it in. Okay. Just been busy. So, it is still Sunday, I think. Yeah. So, I just wanted to get a little bit ahead on videos for you guys. Uh, we're going to make a couple of... There was one in here I really wanted to make one out of. Um, Yo-yos. So I'm going to show you just on a couple of, the, of them how to make the yo-yos. They're pretty simple. Uh, I've seen them a couple of times on uh, the internet. I think, um, what it, Tina? I think she showed yo-yos on her channel. And then um, Anne of the, um, where is that purple I wanted to use? <laughs> of the slow stitch project she also made a couple of yo-yos and they looked pretty simple so I'm gonna give it a try show you guys just in case you haven't seen them so the first thing you want is just a circle a form you know here's my needle I was thinking oh no I lost my needle okay um, and the smaller you have it the sm the um, smaller your yo-yo will be so just going to use this mug this is a heat um, pen heat erase so if it shows up I will um, I can just you know touch an iron to it and it will disappear so I'm going to cut a couple of circles see that one's too big but we can go to any size circle and see how tiny they come out this is just a clean cleanser I have right here. I don't know why, but I think when I was cleaning earlier. So yeah, just any size circle. Um, a lot of times I will use my die cutter, and I have circles on that. I lost my. Okay, hold on. Here it is. I'm going to lose this because, you know, that's what I do. Okay, I already have my needle threaded. <laughs> uh, but I was thinking, um, I really wanted to use yo-yos on these next set of clusters. And I do have some vintage ones that I will use some of them. But I wanted to show you how simple it would be to just kind of make your own yo-yo. Sorry. I'm doing good today, aren't I? So yeah, it. Uh, so just trace it out. But if you do have a die cutter machine, you might just try if you have a round die, run it through and see if you can cut. Because I think you can cut like four or five different, or not four or five, three or four different pieces of um, fabric at the same time, which is nice, you know. And by, you know, kind of trying different pieces of round, you know, different sets of round objects or whatever, then you can um, kind of come up with the size yo-yo that you, that you like to use because it really shrinks it, you know, a lot. So, they're very simple, though, if you've never made a yo-yo. Simple, simple. This would be a fun, like, in the car project or, you know, at night project as well. So, just another way to use up your scraps. That's all. That's kind of what we're doing right now. So, just gonna put a knot in the ball in the bottom of it. My thread, and then let's do the large one first. So you can uh, do it with raw edges, or you can fold over the edge. It's just whatever you prefer. Um, let's fold over the edge of this one, and then we'll do raw edges on the other one. Just because I think it'll be easier because it is um, such a large, <laughs> larger circle than the other. So, I'm 
but it looked pretty simple and then what you do is you just fold over the edge let me bring you guys down just a little just a little bit just in case but you're folding over the edge and then you're kind of just making kind of large um, stitches and this is just what I saw I think it was Anne of the slow stitch project do you and this one I might could take with me in the car I think it would be really you know my I don't know Clint drives and he's kind of wild sometimes <laughs> I might uh, hurt myself but you don't want teeny tiny stitches because you're gonna pull on this thread and you are going to um, gather it for your yo-yo so you don't don't want super tiny but you want it to gather nicely you know so you're just gonna kind of hem it all the way around I am kind of working on a slow stitch the sewing project that Ann is showing um, Rachel at Roxy Creations is doing it as well and a bunch of people I guess there's a large community right now that are doing it and it's looked so much fun but you know I thought well I can take it in the car with me and stuff but we do work and it's dirty my hands always feel grimy and stuff and I don't want any projects dirty you know so I typically do like one project in the morning before we um, work before we get to our first job and then until I can you know wash my hands really good I don't work on them anymore so I don't do a lot in the car hi honey what are you doing huh? having fun not really <laughs> <laughs> oh good you got everything done oh nice I did take a break between the last video and this one just so, to help clean out a little bit I didn't do much though <laughs> I never do but I'm enjoying kind of just crafting today and it's still Sunday here did I already mention that I can't remember It's about 3.30, so I'm thinking about dinner and what we're going to put in there. I'm going to make a, like a beef stroganoff. I, what I do is I cube up a, a roast, and then you cook it in the oven for like three hours, and so it like melts in your mouth. And we do a large one once in a while, and it's like a stew meat, and you cook it with like cream of mushroom soup or whatever. And I freeze it, so we have that in the freezer. And then we um, have, I'm going to make mashed potatoes. And then I'm going to turn that into like a stroganoff. So I'm going to add like sauteed onions and some paprika and another can of cream of mushroom just for the sauce. I love cream of mushroom. So just for the sauce. And then we will um, serve it over mashed potatoes. So... I really like to cook some people are like I'm so tired of cooking right now <laughs> with everything that's going on but you know I don't get tired of it and I prefer my food or a home cooked meal over eating out because of where we live it's really hard to eat out that it really doesn't bother me and I mean we've lived here 22 years so it's not that big of a deal so but I try to keep like easy easy things to throw in the fridge or in the put on for dinner or whatever we don't have a good crock pot so I have one but it cooks like really high but, uh, yeah it's kind of like an instapot and it cooks really high and um, so it like cooks it instead of eight hours it cooks it in like two so I'm going to get another one though because I think with all the work and stuff it will be nice to to have uh, that. So now you're just going to kind of pull it. Like I said, I mean these really don't take that long and it would be really fun just to kind of cut out a bunch of circles, 
you don't want to tug it too too tight because it will break your thread so you want to make sure you use you know a pretty good thread mine's just a cheap cotton one I got from a yard sale probably just kind of position it you know into your but I loved this fabric because to me it was so vintagey looking so vintage if you break it then you have to start over so I don't want to break it <laughs> there we go cute and then there's your just kind of keep finagling with it until you get your yo-yo shape very simple and then I'm just gonna pull it and then just kind of knot it in here mm -hmm. but you know that way you kind of hemmed it and so it's not going to um, show the raw edges but I'll show you how to do the raw edges here in a minute the raw edges don't bother me especially like in a junk journal but if I was making a pillow or something you know that I wanted to be nice then so I just pull it so it doesn't come undone and then the way I tie a knot is I just put it like this I go around my needle like three times how my grandmother taught me three or four times and then just pull it there we go and that's a yo-yo isn't that pretty I love that and then probably not on this one but like a larger fabric flip or a cluster I would just pop that on but you know it doesn't take any time to do it so let's do this one very simple again so I'm going to do my thread and you just go around doing the the stitches not too close and you just don't turn it over you know I was telling them how easy it was. Remember when we made all those circles for yo-yos? Yeah. Do you remember? And then, yeah. On that die cutter? Mm-hmm. Boy, it was so nice because they're perfect. And Clint was cutting them out for me. And I used them for something, I think. Or not. I can't remember what ever happened to them. I don't think we used them all. Mm -hmm. Clint's really tired now. He's moving over equipment into, from one car to the other and doing, he did a lot of chores. Fed all the critters and took care of them. And you said we only got three eggs today. Mm-hmm. Hmm. You have your lighters in for dinner. That's an issue. No, I, would think I so. wouldn't think so. No, yeah. not right now. And it's so warm, they probably don't need it plugged in. The water might still need to be plugged in because I don't no, know. It's not free. It's too, full. too full to freeze. I mean, too uh, warm to freeze is what I was thinking. Yeah, that. Yeah, that. But you know, wouldn't this just be simple? Maybe I'll do this when I'm reading my book. I don't know. I don't know. Reading a book or something. Cause you don't have to think too much, anyways. Okay, and then you just pull it. <laughs> it's so cute. Did I do that right? Maybe I didn't do that right. <laughs> Maybe I should have went on the inside. I mean, you could use it like this. It's just a funky little puff, isn't it? Is that the way you're supposed to do it? I just thought that's how she <laughs> showed it. Maybe that's how it, yeah. I'm going to say that's how it's supposed to look. Because, you know, it doesn't really matter. But, <laughs> if it was perfect, you guys wouldn't be on the Rambling Crafter, would you? <laughs> Nothing here runs that smoothly. But, see the difference in the sizes? So, you guys let me know if I did something wrong.
I think it looks fine. It looks fine anyway. It looks like a purse more than a yo-yo, huh? Sophia's knocking stuff on the floor. Never a dull moment here. Sophia, what you doing? Sophia, what are you doing? Oh, and I need, oh, did you bring in treats? Cat treats? Yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry. Just made me think about the cat treats. I was out last night and the cats didn't think they got enough. So they were kind of um, screaming at me, which is typical. So yeah, isn't that cute? And then I have all of these from Miss Diane. My cat chewed a uh, hole in it. I think that one's ready for the trash. But um, yeah, so yo-yos galore in this house. Okay. So now I'm going to set this aside so I don't lose my needle. And we're going to go ahead and make some more fabric flips. So I'm going to raise you guys up. Try to use different colors than yesterday because I know it kind of gets old to see the same things over and over. So uh, I don't think I used a lot of blue, so I thought that would be kind of fun. I do like that kind of. It's a little bit large, but it kind of brings it together, doesn't it? I think I'm gonna go with it. I think that's fun. Okay, so let's see what I want to do. Blues. Like here's a blue one, isn't that pretty? Just to make them, and I don't want them all to be alike because you know I don't want to get bored. So we're just going to kind of uh, cut and just make fun fun pieces. But make them with yo-yos instead of buttons this time. See, I still have some of this purple. But I loved it. It just feel it's just a vintage feeling. I just love how it's doing. I kind of like this too over here. Just this simple little piece. It's just cute. Okay, we're going with that one. Just some scraps. <laughs> ow. Ow, ow, ow. That's just cute. I like that. Okay. I have this. That'd be cute on this one. And then hopefully I will end up with like sets. So like if I'm doing a journal and it's going to be fall, um, if you guys remember, I did some fabric flips out of this fabric too. So hopefully they'll kind of mesh and I will be able to kind of use those. I think that'll be kind of fun. Oh, you found it. Yeah. Clint's still trying to work on his, uh, his thing. What is that? Oh, yeah, your, his thing. I don't know. Okay, so. What do I want to do here? Again, I am just kind of aiming for about, um, five pieces in each, um, Cluster. Thank you. <laughs> My brain is not working. But it'll be nice to have, you know, some um, some videos for you guys. There's a little bit of purple in there, so maybe I'll put like a purple with with these. And again, I just try to aim for just a, you know, one line going down. So, but I don't want them too much alike. So, I'm 
You sound like you're getting tired, baby doll. Ooh, that one. Kind of go. I'm going to try on this. You take what? Motrin. When did you take it last? A while. Oh. And then let's just trim. I have my lace up here today. Just kind of maybe some netting. I think I might double up on it. Just to make it a little bit thicker. There we go. And then one more, one more piece on that, I think. That. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, okay. Ooh, this piece is pretty. I like that too. Okay. It's kind of fun. I like that. Just a bunch of autumn colors. Still have tons of fabric, <laughs> as you can tell. <laughs> I tell you guys, I don't think I'm ever gonna, because you know Clint loves fabric, so I um, always have scraps. Let's see, maybe we'll put like this kind of further in the back too. Just something fun, I don't know. I don't know. And then maybe some lace or something just to kinda. Give it a little interest. Okay. Hope you guys are doing well. We are expecting a long week this week, so I definitely wanted, you know, a, um, wanted to be ahead a little bit so that I didn't feel rushed or anything later. I know that a lot of you don't mind if we don't put up a daily video, but I know some of you guys count on us because it kind of keeps you um, entertained and um, what am I thinking? Keep, gives you company, I guess. You know? So, I'm going to cut this just because I can. <laughs> I think that'll be kind of fun. Yeah, we'll go for that. But I like to, like to have a video up for you guys if I can, you know. No telling what this week holds. Um, that's kind of fun. Just kind of threw that down and it's kind of kind of going with that. This might could be like a larger, like a fabric flip type thing. It's kind of fun. It's very, um, just kind of thrown together <laughs> so that's kind of fun though sometimes you just don't you think oh that's not gonna work and then you know it just does so and that's what I like about it especially when you you're kind of looking anything I don't know how that is gonna look go ahead walk away from it you know put it away for a few days or a couple of weeks or whatever and then come back and then sometimes you're like "Ooh, I like that who made that <laughs> oh yeah it was me it was me Let's see there's one fabric I want to put in here this one Like 
that. That one's really um, eclectic, isn't it? <laughs> okay. Let's see what we have here. Got little um, pieces of fabric everywhere. Purple, pink, I mean yellow, whatever color. Try not to get too too deep in that. Ooh, what about this one? <laughs> that's kind of pretty, huh? Let's see. I have that one, but that's the same one. Maybe this little green piece. Ooh, I kind of like how that's coming. So maybe some lace. Let's kind of see what I want. Do I have some already cut? No. Okay. You know what? I could probably put this piece in here too. I think I'm just going to go with those. I already, already used the other pin. That's kind of fun. I like that. Okay. You guys having fun? I hope you're joining me using up some of your scraps. I don't know where Clint went. He was here. He was here. Now he's not. Ooh, what's this? That's kind of pretty. I like that. Maybe this one. Like just to kind of hang down here, maybe. That's kind of pretty. I like it. I like it so far. There's a little piece of red and blue. Just so fun, you know, just to put pieces together and not think about it. Just kind of relax and chill out a little. And let's see, I have this kind of teal color. Cut it about right there. And there we go. I like that. That's cute. So what I do when I'm putting my... Um, pin in, I kind of put it in the direction where I want the um, seam to go or the line so that I can, you know, just kind of look at it and say, oh, I want it this way. So I think that's kind of fun. And it's so much easier to just do it and um, pick it up and know exactly where you want the seam to go. Sorry, that was a little crooked, still crooked. So let's see what we have over here. I have this one. It's kind of fun. just fine. I mean, I'm just using up things that I normally wouldn't even think to use, you know, or not use together. It's just like this one. That's fun. It's not ones I would have, you know, necessarily just pulled out and said, oh, these go well together. I'm just using up just scraps. I know I'm just jabbering, but I'm kind of running out of things to talk about. <laughs> yes, guys, Michelle is not, is running out of things to talk about. I know some of you guys are like, oh my gosh, Michelle never runs out of anything to talk about. <laughs> yeah, thanks a lot. Just kidding, just kidding. So I think I'll put 
this under here. Kind of cute like that, or maybe, maybe, maybe. I don't want to put too much thought into it. I just kind of want to, you know, put a little thought into it. But like I've been saying is I want it to be something that I will use. I don't want it to, you know, be something that I really don't like because if it's something I don't like, I'm not going to use it. So I kind of, I need one more piece of something. What's that? It's not bad. What would you go with that? So I still have these two pieces. Cool. Okay, since it's kind of getting close to the, the middle of this video already. Wow. I'm going to start pulling from this scrap pile. Not pull anything else out of here. Kind of straighten it up as I go so that um, all of Clint's sewing or ironing will not have been in vain. <laughs> Try to keep them pretty straight, you know. And then as I'm putting them in there, I can kind of um, see if there's anything I want to use on these other ones. <clears throat> I think yellow or this color would go really fun. Um, in this one, there's a little bit of yellow. So I think that would be kind of fun to kind of layer it. I'll bring, maybe bring that out. So. Uh, still have some of these here. Ooh, let's put that like here. That'd be kind of fun. So I'm just kind of picking up my mess and starting to, so that I don't have a huge mess at the end. <laughs> That's one thing I've started doing is just kind of, you know, kind of figuring out where I want to go, pick up after myself, um, try not to dig out anything else that I don't need to, you know. That's pretty. Just kind of, kind of start picking up a little as we. Ooh, I think I want this too. I just love this. I think it's so pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and do. Again, I'm just kind of keeping it to five. But you can do whatever you are comfortable with. I just like it like that so that, you know, I know that's all I want to do, all I can do or whatever. I don't feel so overwhelmed, you know. Okay, my limit's five, and go from there. So these are kind of fun. This, I think, is bed sheet. That's what it feels like. And I think those would just be kind of fun to layer up. They just look fun together. Okay, and then this. love that. That is so fun. Is there another green over here that I want to use? Straighten them up. <laughs> I do have that one, huh? That'd be kind of fun underneath or no? Mm, I don't know. So it doesn't look like I've used much, but I really have. My um, stash in the 
bedroom where I'm putting everything is getting really full though it's I mean you can tell that I'm getting a large large amount <laughs> so that's really fun Ooh, what about that one just different ways to use up our scraps I'm loving I'm loving it I'm having so much fun um, we also have that green have that green have a brown let's see what we want to use where's my other green oh. and I have this yellow maybe the green let's just go with that I think that's kind of fun oh, oh God. poor Sophia well God give me a <laughs> Daddy, Daddy. <laughs> so that one's kind of fun. Okay, so let's go ahead and we'll switch to sewing. Let me show you my uh, stack. You can't really tell that I've used much. Uh, here's this. Keep it pretty well straightened. I'm okay if it's a little uh, wrinkled, but Clem said if he had to, he would do it over for me. He doesn't mind ironing, so. But I don't want him to have to, you know. So we are going to start sewing. Okay, so this. You getting tired? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. I bet you are. Okay. Again, I just have my needle in the right or pin in the area the way I want it to go so that I can just pick it up, pop it in here. We're going to chain stitch. Let's do a zigzag. Uh oh, that's not working because it came undone. My needle came unthreaded. So probably in tomorrow's video, which will be what, Fridays, I will show you guys all the stuff that I've made so you can kind of see how much and how big the stash is. So. so I go forwards and backwards on each, the start of each and the end of each just to kind of lock in the stitch because I don't know how I'm going to use these. And then, that way I don't have to worry about them, you know. If you don't have a sewing machine, you could either hand stitch or you could just glue these on top of each other. It doesn't have to be sewn. I, we have several, and I like the look of it. This sewing machine um, cost me like $57 on Amazon. So I really like, you know, just something simple. I just get a cheap one to sew on for this. Because if I use a, lar a more expensive one, I end up messing it up or something. I don't know. And when I'm filling on paper, I don't use any special needle. I just use whichever one comes with it. Or whichever one I pop in there. You know, they all seem to be fine. I haven't had any issues. Though I do feel like you have to clean it more often because you are sewing on paper. And you kind of get that um, paper dust kind of in there. Pretty simple. Like I said, this would be really easy and fun to just pop in the, to do while you're watching TV at night or, you know, if you're on a long road trip where you're not going to get your hands dirty or something, this would be kind of fun to take with you. And 
you know, except for the sewing part. And how long does that take? That doesn't take very long at all. And if you have a husband who loves to sew, you could pin them together and just say, yeah. Hey, honey. <laughs> volunteering you to do this. Busy. Yeah, you could, <laughs> you could do that. <laughs> you ain't sewing fast enough. Pick up the pace. <laughs> and you know what I'm going to say? Okay. Kiss my butt. <laughs> okay, hon. What would you say? Um, what me, woman? Yeah, that. <laughs> Yeah, that. That's what he would say. Bite me a woman. So, in that box that I showed you of scraps, I think we still have another full one of scraps. And that's only the ones that we have organized. <laughs> so, yeah. I don't know where Clint put my red scissors. Just kidding. They're not mine. But I would use his red scissors if I knew where they were. Okay, so really simple. And then, like I said, we're going to put yo-yos on these. And, you know, sometimes you just want something simple and to knock it together pretty easy. When you know, if you have a lot of yo-yos or something, <coughs> very simple. And I also have some of those flowers I pulled out when we first started this. And I thought, I need to look through there and see if there's anything that I would want to use. And some people leave the strings on them. If you like that look, then by all means, go for it. I'm not partial to it, because, I don't know. But, you know, like the strings from sewing. You just leave them. It's not my favorite. Nope. I don't mind having some, you know, threads here and there. But not the, like this one is really um, thready. That's fine. But if it's way too much, I pick it off and then hope it stays pretty nice. <laughs> and then, it's right there. Okay. And then we're going to use yo yo's. And let's see what else I have. So I just kind of wanted to use up like pre-made items. So I was hoping I could use some of these. I bought these a long time ago, 50 cents each it looks like, and I never used them. Probably because they're so, um, yeah, so felty looking. Because they're felt. I don't know. So let's see if we can use any of these. I don't, I don't know. We'll see. But just kind of you know, you could use it, put it in any direction that you want. Like that, that's kind of fun. I'm just going to spread them out and see if there's anything I want to use. But are these the same? Those are identical. I must have really thought, oh, I need those because that's a lot. <clears throat> I remember getting, getting them, but I don't know that I'll ever use them. <laughs> Oh, that's not too bad. Look how bulky they are, though. But if I made that into a paper clip, that wouldn't be bad at all, because then you could remove it. I'm going to add it. Again, I'm just using my Fabri-Tec. See how much it kind of volcanoes on me today. know what does that. Somebody said, but I can't remember. It's not too bad. And then I have these cream colored ones. Just something different. Once in a while I'll do like a um, like a gardening journal or something that's really bright in colors or something. And so these would work nicely for that. But two, where's my... Here's my, these, 
I'll just kind of pull out what I have and just kind of look like I do want another one here. My fabric tack is. Here are the cats. They're so funny. That's Bubby, and he's calling um, the other little guy <coughs> to come play. We definitely stay um, entertained with our cats. <laughs> Don't we, baby? Oh, yeah. Definitely. Okay, where's that one? This one. Nope, I thought that one would go kind of fun there. I don't know, though. These were some yo-yos from a, um, from a bedspread that, um, Miss Diane, Diane H. here on YouTube, she got, and it had, like, all these holes and stuff in it. So she washed it and then kind of split it up for us and sold, sold them in her store which was really cool. Look at that one. That one's perfect. And they're vintage, but so funny because they're like, I would use that. I wouldn't tear it up. And a lot of us are the same way where we just kind of, um, we use our um, only things that are kind of torn up. We don't go in and cut up a brand new, you know, thing. So, that one's kind of fun. It has a little bit of vintage fabrics. Here's a green. But I try never to say anything because, you know, I mean, people have to do what they feel is right. And plus, usually whatever I would feel, somebody else feels that too. And they don't need to hear it 15 times that, hey, you're tearing up something. <laughs> well, that's not, you shouldn't be your... It's not my, yeah, history. yeah, they, they want to do that, that's on them, not you. But I feel so bad when they're like, why are you tearing that up? Why are you tearing that up? Because, um, you know, it's something that's going to live on forever now that you kind of find a new, new home for it, you know? I don't know, that's just me jabbering, my two cents, which is about all it's worth. <laughs> See, that one works really nice on that one. Just a cute little flower. But sometimes all you want is just something without spending a lot of time. You just want something already pre-made, ready to go as a decoration. And if you can find, um, has a little bit of brown. But, you know, something that you really enjoy. Kind of like to see or whatever. But, you know, if you make your own, you can make them to match perfectly. So that would be cool, too. I think I'm going to put that there. That just looks fun to me. I love vintage. I love to put the vintage pieces in my books. Hey, we're almost done. Look at us. Here's a... It has some gray in it. Let's put the gray on it. Make sure I have enough. <laughs> but isn't that fun? And, you know, they just come together so quickly. This one I have. This that the one? This one. Yeah, I like that. But it's funny because some of the colors I thought, oh, I would never use that. Or some that I'm really looking, oh no, I need more of those. So. Isn't that fun though? And you could put like a um, button or something in the center pearl or whatever you wanted to do. So those are really fun. Let's see what I wanted to do. Oh, and I forgot to use this little one. But see, like even that. Let's just pop him down here. We could put, turn him upside down. Yeah. 
think he would just go cute right there, maybe underneath, I don't know. There we go, like that. You can put two. You can put three if you want, but I normally would. And I know somebody's going to say, but Michelle, you always put three. Okay, fine, I'll put three. <laughs> fine, I'll put three. Maybe this one, this one's kind of fun. Talked myself into it. <laughs> I didn't, did I? <laughs> You're so funny. There we go. I don't know. I just like three. But isn't that kind of fun? I love that. It's just fun and I don't know. I just like it. This one, I'm going to go ahead and put this one because I don't know. I just don't have another home for it. You can use, you know, up whatever side you want. So if you want um, the back up or the hole in the front up or whatever. That's just cute. I really like that one. Okay, I guess we are done with these. So I am, I'm just going to set that aside, showing you these really quick. We have that cute little purple one where we made our yo-yo. This one where we have the two vintage and one newer one. I think I prefer where you kind of uh, turn turn them over. They look cleaner. This one has a felt flower. This one, so that's four, five. That one's fun. Six. I like this one. Seven. Eight. But you know, I didn't set this one like this one. I didn't set it up, but that is like perfect. It's got the same purple, same shade and everything. Nine. Ten. Eleven. So we have eleven more embellishments. How fun is that? So thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure and hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Uh, give this video a thumbs up. It really helps out our channel. And we will see you guys in the next video. See you soon. Bye. Bye, guys.